the covert narcissist wears a mask of modesty, and that can lull you into a false sense of security and cause you to let your guard down around this person. Especially if you've known more overtly abusive people, the covert narcissist is going to seem like someone who's completely safe. But the real problem with their false modesty goes deeper than just getting their foot in the door and getting you to let your guard down. In fact, there are eight ways a covert narcissist will use modesty to manipulate you into thinking they're harmless. And if you've gotten close to a covert narcissist, I'm gonna guess you recognize, I don't know, maybe like seven of them. Let me know in the comments exactly how many of these modest manipulation tactics you recognize. My name is Christina and this channel is dedicated to helping you recognize and overcome the effects of emotional abuse. So if that's something that's touched your life, consider subscribing because you'll find a whole lot more helpful content right here. And if you're wondering if you might have a narcissist in your life, I do have a free download that can help you figure that out. And it has a checklist for all the phases of narcissistic abuse so you can see how it stacks up in your own life. So let's just get straight to it and rip off that mask of modesty with the eight ways covert narcissists manipulate with modesty. And the first one is self-deprecation. And that is usually what gets them that foot in the door. That's what gets you thinking that you're not dealing with a narcissist at all because they're so comfortable putting themselves down. It seems almost like you're dealing with someone who's insecure. And a lot of us, I think, have a false impression that if someone is insecure, that they're not dangerous. But that's not true because covert narcissists do show a lot of signs of insecurity and they can also show signs of depression and anxiety. It's actually very common. But at the same time, they will also be very abusive to you. So in the beginning, you may see them putting themselves down a lot. And typically what happens throughout the relationship is that that kind of falls by the wayside a little bit, or it will ebb and flow. So it'll come in waves. Sometimes they're a little bit more self-deprecating than others, especially when they've flipped to full on devaluing you. When they're in devaluation mode, usually they're not putting themselves down. They're putting themselves on a pedestal. It's more when they're in that love bomby kind of phase when you'll see them putting themselves down. So the next way a covert narcissist will use modesty to manipulate is through pseudo humility. So this is fake humility. And this one can be tricky to spot, but it's actually pretty obvious to someone who's experienced this type of person, this type of personality before. So usually this looks like downplaying their achievements and appearing really humble, but at the same time, they'll be the ones to bring up their achievements. So they're downplaying their accomplishments and hoping that other people will recognize that they're downplaying it and build them up. It's really all about external validation. And if you know someone who does this, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're a narcissist. Now they could actually just be insecure. There are a lot of people who seek that external validation like it's a drug. There are people who need it in order to feel good about themselves. But the key here with the covert narcissist and why it really is manipulation is because it's fake. They're faking being humble so that other people will build them up. They're manipulating other people to feed their ego. And if this is where the manipulation ends, then, you know, we could say maybe it's not so bad, right? But if you've known a covert narcissist, you know that this story gets a lot worse. So as we get deeper into the eight ways a narcissist will use modesty to manipulate you, things do tend to get more abusive. So the next way that a narcissist will use modesty to manipulate is by playing dumb. So pretending like they don't understand something or pretending that they don't remember something. And this is always done in an effort to avoid accountability. And they may even combine some of these tactics and use self-deprecation along with playing dumb in order to make you feel like they're not a problem. They're not being abusive. They didn't do anything wrong. So one way that this sometimes shows up is that the narcissist puts down their ability to remember things. For example, imagine you're set to go somewhere that the narcissist agreed to go with you and you're about to walk out the door and they're not ready. They don't remember making the plans at all. In fact, they've made other plans and they can't leave with you right now. And listen, things like this do happen in real life with people who aren't narcissists. Let's be real about that. But if there is a pattern of this happening along with other 
patterns of abuse, then that is definitely a red flag. And I would say they're probably doing it on purpose. So another way that a narcissist, a covert narcissist will use modesty to manipulate you is by playing the victim. And I know that a lot of you have experienced this with narcissists in your life too. There might be someone in their life that just is holding them down. Like they would be living this amazing life if not for this one person. They might even be telling you that that one person is you, but you can look at their history and they weren't living an amazing life before you met them. And so the chances that they would have been living this amazing life without you are pretty slim. Covert narcissists are also very likely to play the victim when they're expected to take some sort of accountability for their actions. So if you try to get them to take responsibility for something that they did that was abusive, one way they might respond is by playing the victim, by acting like they're so incredible incredibly scarred by the fact that you even brought this up to them, that you would even think that they're capable of doing such a thing. And they can go to great lengths to sell this. And you might even start to feel guilty. But if someone in your life is doing this, that's a major red flag. You have a right to your feelings and your personal experience. So if you think something was abusive, that's a conversation that you should be having with someone in your life. Unless you've already decided to go no contact, then there's no need to talk about it. Otherwise, that conversation absolutely should be happening and you should not be made to feel guilty about it. So the next Next one is incredibly frustrating and that is modesty in gaslighting. So any narcissist is going to gaslight you about how you feel. But when a covert narcissist is trying to take the modest approach to gaslighting you, they may say something like, I couldn't possibly have had that kind of impact on you. There must have been something going on with you already. So very subtly saying, I couldn't be the problem. You must have some sort of problems to begin with. So they could do it in a more humble way, like we just discussed, or they might do it in a more in your face way and make Make fun of the fact that they were able to get to you in that way, that they were able to hurt your feelings like that, implying all along that you're weak because they were able to do that. So then there's the passive aggressive modesty. And it's really interesting how a narcissist can use something that seems so subtle and safe as a weapon against you, like modesty. And this one I'm going to bet that many of you have encountered. So being a passive aggressive and feigning modesty at the same time looks a little something like this. Imagine you're at a really low point in your life. Something really bad just happened and you're there just picking up the pieces and there is a narcissist or sometimes it could even be the narcissist's flying monkeys that come around kind of like vultures and you know that they're not there for you, but they insist on being there physically being in your face, but they're not confrontational. They're there just to, you know, make sure that you're okay, to make sure that you don't need anything. Cause if you need anything, you could totally let them know. They'll show up with a smile on their face and that smile is genuine, but it's not because they care about you. It's because they're taking joy. They're taking pleasure in seeing your pain. And similar to that, the next one is gatekeeping. And we know that covert narcissists, they love gatekeeping, don't they? So to a covert narcissist, modesty is just another hoop that you will never be able to jump through. You will never be modest enough for a covert narcissist because they are the most. They are the standard. So whenever they see someone who seems modest and who seems humble, and maybe somebody who is genuinely modest and humble, whenever they see someone like that, they're going to feel the need to tear that person down, to attack them. And they'll do this through projection, essentially saying that their modesty is fake, that they're faking being modest. And in truth, the covert narcissist might actually believe this because narcissists tend to think that people see the world the way they do. And so they tend to think that most people are lying and cheating and manipulating, but they also tend to think that most people just aren't doing it as well as they are. So another way that a covert narcissist will use modesty to manipulate is by weaponizing it. So they'll put you down whenever you feel like you've accomplished something, whenever you feel like you're proud of yourself and you don't want to be modest or humble. Let's face it, being modest and humble, it is important. 
We don't want to go around throwing our accomplishments in other people's faces and always trying to build ourselves up because then we become just like them. But it's equally important to believe in yourself and your abilities and to be proud of your accomplishments. So you're going to want to have a healthy balance and whatever that looks like for you. Definitely don't let any narcissist tell you that you need to be more humble. And this I firmly believe is one of many reasons why after a relationship with a narcissist, after encountering any kind of narcissist and getting too close, many of us ask the question, am I the narcissist? Because especially the covert narcissist will put you down for trying to build yourself up. And they might even outright call you a narcissist, but they're going to make you feel like you're over inflating your sense of importance. They're going to make you feel like a narcissist whenever you're proud of yourself. So a covert narcissist with their mask of modesty, they will use modesty to get their foot in the door, to get you to let your guard down. And that, as we already talked about, very dangerous. And then they will manipulate and abuse throughout their relationship while still wearing that mask. And the reason why that is so incredibly dangerous is because if you still believe that this person is good and modest, if you believe that this person doesn't know exactly what they're doing every time they hurt you in the same way over and over again, it's going to take you so much longer to be able to label what they're doing as abuse. You might think this is a meek mouse. You might think this is an insecure person who often acts in abusive ways, but you know what? Oh, they don't know what they're doing. They can't possibly because that's the narrative they want you to believe. And that is why the covert narcissist is so dangerous. And if you think you have a covert narcissist in your life, you are going to want to be prepared for their number one weapon. And you can learn all about it right here.